What's cracking, everybody? You're here with me, King ETO, and, and as always, Zuzu. Yay! Here at the Order of Insanity, we are very stylish people. I'm not. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, I'm not. <laughs> well, we have a stylish channel. Our amazing artwork has all been done by Zuzu and Kevin, or K Wills. I'm unsure what he wanted me to call them. But all of our logos, the banners, the characters, everything, it would not be possible without the work of them. So, for this artist appreciation, we're going to appreciate these two boys, even though the other boy is not here right now. Our boy's not here. You're not the boy. Please go away. Hey, dude. Please stop messing with this video. Okay. So, to start this off, Look at some of the amazing artwork Zuzu has done before. That is some amazing artwork, Zuzu. So I won't call it amazing. It's a completely amazing. Don't do that to yourself. Your art is awesome. Thank you. <laughs> now, I have never interviewed a human before. Well, I haven't. All of my interviews have been through Twitter. So now I have to do this in person. Let me... So, Mr. Zuzu Zulian Zu, sir. Uh-huh. Where does your inspiration for your art? Uh, that's, that's a tough question because it's a whole slew of things that go into it. Um, No, it's not that... It's not, that, it's not that. Um, I think one of the biggest inspirations was at the time was Eagle Raptor. Like his art style was really uh, colorful and fluid and just oh, really bouncy. dynamic. And so I was like, "Oh, well, my art style would be kind of like Eagle Raptors with all the color and all that stuff, and everyone looks cool." And I so balance the animation like that. It's like the best kind. What is it called? Rubber hose? I think it's called rubber, rubber hose. hose. Rubber hose yeah. animation. Rubber hose animation is so cool. His is more of a modern though. Yeah. Rubber right. hose animation it Cupheadish. Yeah, it's cupheadish. While his is more a touch of Ren Stippy with anime to it because he's just <sighs> You're fanboying right now. Yes I am. Let's make this more about you. When did you start drawing? What that age is, were you? That is a good question. I want to say... <laughs> I um, don't even know. I was drawing out the womb. The first thing that came out with my hand in a womb pencil. My mom was not happy when I got out. <laughs> <laughs> I brought a whole pencil made out of her intestines with me. My mom was not happy while I was in there. I drew on the inside. There's cave paintings on their inside. <laughs> My mom was that happy while I was in there. She was happy I that got That is out. the worst. The cave <laughs> paintings that you can only see through an x-ray thing. Man, where are those carvings? <laughs> my son was an my son's an artist. <laughs> my son is oh. an artiste. But um I wanna say like Hmm. I was always drawing like most kids would, but I think it was uh, around the time when I was in third or fourth grade that I wanted to like take it more seriously like, than I had. I want to be a serious artiste. Because my um my brother's friend Joshua, who I consider my drawing senpai, was like his drawings seemed like so cool and so great. I was like, oh my god, how'd you do that? How'd you draw like that? He was like, oh, I just did like this, this, and this. Like, uh, I want to do that. I want to do it like that. This over here, like senpai, please show me your drawing ways. Senpai, please. <laughs> Senpai, show and me how to draw. from then on, I was just drawing a lot, a lot, a lot. Every like day. Papers and papers, sketchbooks filled with sketches that oh, some did not even get finished. And childhood others. stuff. Oh, yeah. Uh, I remember my childhood of horribleness. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, so... You obviously watch cartoons and stuff. Have yeah. you ever tried to redraw a cartoon like while you were a kid? 
I want to say Naruto because that was all. That was just like uh, the general one that people. Let wanted me to try to draw a Naruto of the ninja clan. Yeah, Naruto. Right. Naruto was like the biggest thing that I wanted to try and like because draw of the from. animation. Because the animation, how they're designed, I didn't know what the. Because I I didn't understand how character design works, so I was like. It looks so cool, but my characters look so trash. How do they do that? How does character design? So that was like how you learned. You need to have characters that have things with them. Like that, characteristics. That's have pleasant designs and show emotion in their posing as opposed to being in a T position. <laughs> Just with the arms out. Like, I want to bet you that's how you started drawing as a kid. Every character just perfectly armed out. This is my uh, character. I called him R- Rutabaga Kid. I call him uh, Batsumaru. <laughs> Batsumaru. I was going to say t- ter- the terrible Tessa Rowinzi. R- 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 Kuromaru. Anime sounding name. Uh, so you were an anime kid when you were trying to draw. So oh yes, the yes, anime yeah. Kid. That was, uh, that was a period OC. of my time that I would soon want to forget. I want <laughs> pictures now. I want all the pictures with you and like Naruto headband. Too bad they've all <laughs> either been burned or thrown away. <laughs> trying to do jokes no on jitsu. you. This is my ninja way. God, no. <laughs> oh wait i think i have <sighs> i just remembered i have a sketchbook I with wanna, my oldest drawings I'll, please send me send me one so i can put it in this video you have three days no i'm not playing the, i'm it. not playing az from that sketchbook on, no, I, I, I would it. sooner cut off I my right it. hand i need it i would so the audience needs it i would sooner cut off they my right hand Omari. they have to see your <laughs> cringe drawings it's how to show you're a relatable character. You gotta show them. You gotta show them. This is me when I was a kid, guys. Look at this. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So, it's the brought worst. What would you call your current style? Um, It's more cartoonish. It's more cartoonish than what I started off with. I want to... I always want to have like an anime style, but looking back at it now seemed dumb so i was like you know what i want like a bit of anime anime with a touch of cartoon so it's kind of between cartoon ish anime so the last airbender Mm, not quite not that far into the anime uh not quite that tight Mm. young justin no star versus the forces of Definitely not that. Wander over yonder. Mm-mm. Maybe the last Airbender Korra. Yeah, because it's like I'm, I'm trying to think of things in America that are like kind of cartoony, but not full. Kappa Mikey. Kind of Kappa Mikey. Most definitely not. <laughs> Why? Kappa Mikey. I like the show and it had good art, but my art, concept. my art style isn't like that. It's most definitely not like that. Could you change your art style like that? No. <laughs> can we have a full? Can you personally do a full reboot of Kappa Mikey on this YouTube channel? <laughs> the, Kappa, the Kappa Mikey fan fiction. Look, look, okay, look. I have you. all the money we would need in this bundled up tissue. How now, much? with this budget, make a full fan parody of Kappa Mikey. Please, here, here. Got it. it it's th- th- that's it'll be out by it. tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. Tomorrow, tomorrow from when you're watching this video, the a day after full Kappa Mikey thing. The day after this video is published, expect a whole season a of whole season a full of rebooted Kappa, Kappa Mikey. Mikey with the perfect ships, the perfect pairings, the perfect animation. Animation so good, Netflix is gonna wish they had us. So as I said, Kevin could not be here with us. Kevin and or K. Wills, whatever he prefers to be called. But I have him live on Twitter. Which is really weird to have someone live on Twitter. So it's going to consist of me texting him questions and reading those questions back to you in a dramatic voice like the comic historian. Except less cool. 
<clears throat> for starters, if you want to follow Kevin on social media, follow him at StarJackal57. That's S-T-A-R Jackal57. Do you like how dramatic I'm getting? I hope you do, because this is going to be the full thing. I asked Kevin, you know, I asked him, what got you into art, my guy? He says anime, video games, and his older brother, who is apparently a really good artist, maybe even better than him, which is kind of hard to say. Like, look at some of the work Kevin has sent me. So Kevin has said, growing up, we would watch a lot of anime like Pokemon, Kirby, Sonic X, Yu-Gi-Oh, Digimon, Dragon Ball mm, Z, Naruto, mm. Big O, Cowboy Bebop, the entire Toonami list, basically. Archie Toonami. He, he said he would see his brothers drawing stuff like that, and he was like, I want to do it too. But video games are what really defined him, he says, and they're probably a better source of his art. Kevin, as you can see from the work that he's done, he's a pixel artist. He has done things like our logo, the video game intro, um, some of our other logos, the Just Playing logo, things like that. Now for yeah, pixel, yeah. yeah, he did the Just Playing. He did the um, movie rundown. He did the he did both of the versions for starting TV. Yeah, Kevin is really good. Like he did all the animation that I added the little sound effects and doodly dads and all that other. Meaningless joke, but Kevin is a god. He is a god when it comes to this stuff. Now I asked him, there you know, I was, I was curious. I was like, so why pixel art? And he says he chose it pretty recently, actually, in like eighth grade. So honestly, he started doing pixel art right when we started going to high school with him. Yeah, yeah, it is real. Like he is basically mastered it, in my opinion. You started this like what? It's been what five years? And he met. It's been more than five years. I'm fucking old. Six. Six. Seven. About six seven because it's been fucking it's six. Dude. The fuck? Why? Oh my God. What the I fuck? Know, oh, this stop. Is so weird. stop! 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 Sorry for that crisis. We just realized we're getting oh, very, yeah. very old and dying. I don't care. I'm old and dying now. So, back to the pixel art. He said he used to mix, mess around with pixel art and Game Maker. He did a bit of both over the years. But around 6th and 7th grade is when he wanted to go full force in pixel art. And he, had, he even did some stuff with MS Paint with pixel art. Just like the MS Paint Queen herself. So, <clears throat> I asked him... Why it's fun and stuff like what do you think was he said it's fun to do and it feels more like a skill than a talent in his opinion and it looks super good and there are so many different styles and looks to go for it reminds it reminds him and grounds him into video games in general especially the ones he feels had a big impact on him like video games have been a big impact on all of us I guess oh yeah, yeah we have a gaming channel and everything already so, Kevin, if you can see from some of the stuff that he sent me, like some of the um, animations, he's currently working on making a game himself. So, you know, I had to ask him a bit, what point did you start wanting to make a game? And he says, you know, in fifth grade, in fifth grade is where he decided, I want to start making a game. I want to start getting into this. And he started learning the skill kind of early. He hasn't messed with it in a few years. But he came back a lot stronger. Something happened with his art, he says. And it continues to happen on a type of smaller scale. But 5th grade and 8th grade were periods that were very important to him. Where he was like, I want to make my own game. And it's like, I've seen a few of his animations on Twitter. Like, you follow him on Twitter. Whenever he does, like, a new game mode animation, he shows me. I remember um in art class, he would, like, play some game music he made. He ever show you that? He yeah, made, yeah, he had made some tracks that were actually really awesome. Kevin is really good at game stuff. So, you know, finally, I decided to ask, what are some artists that expired him? He says his brother, Kyle Butler, a.k.a. Magriff. Mag I can't say his name, Amari. Please say his name. Please. I, I'm, I'm so ashamed. Joachim Sandberg. No, at the very top. Oh. Yeah, Kyle I, Butler, Maverick ETC. Yeah, I can't say that. You can probably follow him on Twitter or something. I know that name has to be popular somewhere. 
Joe. Oh God, why so many weird names? Joe Skim Sandberg slash Kojak, the creator of New Two Love and Iconoclast. Oh, that's a, oh, yeah. I knew that. I'm t I'm, I'm a reader. I'm of English. Herman Zhao, the animator of Mordiria series. Omari, please take over. I'm shaming uh, myself. <laughs> it's okay. I, I it's can't a, even look at it's the camera. Shh, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, uh, Hernan Zhou, yeah. um, animator of the Momodoro series. Nuiji has some really dope pixel art. I don't, I don't know too many artists. I'm mostly aware of artists' work than the artists themselves, sadly. I should start actually looking at credits. Mm, well, so, yeah, sometimes it's hard to. Artists sometimes. Now he sent a lot of games that have inspired him. Like, oh uh, my like god! Yeah. So let's just start from the top and go down a little bit. Kirby, Sonic, Pokemon, Zelda, Demon's Quest, Devil May Cry, Bayonetta, Dragon's Dogma. You say more. A bunch of fighting games, Dark Souls, Monster Tale, Spiral Trilogy, Crash Series, Tr Shovel Knight, Metroid, 2D Imprisers, Castlevania, and Dracula at the beginning of SOTN is my all-time favorite, but AOS is my favorite game so far. I probably can't remember at the... Ooh, Mega Man Zero! Soul Weaver, Momodoro Series, Deadly Premonition, Earthbound, ooh, Earthbound, and a bunch of other games I can't think of right now. Whew. Earthbound, Mega Man that Zero, Kevin, you are awesome. I will hug you next time I see you. Everybody who makes art for us is awesome. Yes. Because without you two, the artist of the Order of Insanity, our channel would have been made art-wise by me. Eh, yeah. sure. I mean, it's still, it's still worth making your own art. It would have been trash. It would have been like probably One Piece things like as our cover art. Like a one piece flag, but like with my hat instead of Luffy's hat. Like it would have been it would have been like cringy crap. Ultimate cringe crap. You've seen our first video. It nah. would have been it would have been cringy crap. Even Burn though it. Did we have a logo for our first video? We didn't, no. did we? We didn't, we have, didn't a have a logo, logo until, until like, I scheduled one up and then Kevin finally made it. Yeah, but the... that was like how many videos in were we before we even got <laughs> a logo? We were a while in, because I remember our logo was a colorful thing that I stole from the internet and then just put our name on it. And then the profile picture was uh, your character. Yeah, it was him. the characters. Oh, God, that was a while ago. And then it was like, um, I told, I, I, I drew a thing and I said, redraw this thing because I had to do it for art class. And then you drew, redrew it. Then Kevin redrew it. Kevin... <laughs> Kevin really put the pizzazz in it. Yeah, he put honestly. it on the word. And then it was like the lettering. Uh, I think it was my ex that actually came up with like the lettering for Order of Insanity. Like the stylized, curvy-ish parts. But hey, you get a logo from somewhere. Everybody got to start somewhere. And this is where we started. This is where we're starting. This is where we're finishing. And this is where we're ending because we're at the end of the video. Like how I did that? I wrapped it up real nice. So, for more artist appreciations and a more conventional style next time, probably, if somebody doesn't mess it up for us again. <laughs> <laughs> you instantly thought I was talking about you. Because you were. No, I wasn't. Bye. For more videos like this, keep watching. Oh, well, I'll do it in another video. Keep and watching gaming channel oh yeah where we bumble like this through video games but it's me this time yeah it's that voice that you kind of hear wait they're not going to hear your voice at all yeah <laughs> <laughs> so everything <It's> okay. <laughs> everything you have said has been for naught I hear a word that you said you say weird stay wild and have a good time everybody Whee! It's the double. It's the double D rule. You have to always have it Just on. Wee.